Okay, uh, today I want to tie another samurai, but this one, now my pronunciation might be wrong, but it's the Veheneva or Veneva, which is a green and black Scandinavian uh, pattern. So, again, we're using black Future Fly uh, 3.2 outer and a 1.8 millimeter inner. Take the tie and silk down to where you want the butt. And here I'm going to use a bit of Mirage, take a strand of it, put it behind my silk, double it and tie over itself. Then I want to take a bit of varnish and place that over where the butt is going to be wound. Wind the butt into it and that will help strengthen the butt. Tie it off again. Wrap the loose ends just loosely forward because we're going to include those in the wing. Wipe off the excess of the varnish. Now the rear part of the body is going to be a silver holographic flat braid. So tie that in down to the butt and then come forward about two thirds of the way. Now, Flat braid makes a very quick, very durable body. Take that up about two thirds of the way, or so along the body, and tie it in. Fold it back on itself to secure it, and cut off the excess. Okay, now I want to create a little dubbin ball of holographic silver dubbin. You don't want this on overly tight, so just twisting it around, tying thread, and then wrapping on a ball. You want straggly ends coming out of this. For the underwing of this I'm going to use a bit of Kelly Green or Highlander Green. Uh, this is Tanuki. Strip out the under fur. Place it on about two body lengths. And use your thumbnail to spread it out across the tie end point. Now cut off our ends and the two spare ends of the Mirage from the start we fold back into the wing. Now I want to secure in the base of my tie in there so I'm just putting a bit of super glue onto that a little bit onto my thread and then I'll bind that down. Okay. Now the next part of the wing is a black fox. So I'm looking for a bit that's maybe a third again as long as my underwing. that out, take out the fluff and lay that on on top of it. See how that looks for shape. Again use your thumb just to splay out the tie in point so that it kind of cloaks the tube. Put on a couple of turns and then clip off Again, 
bit of water is here really. Add that into the base of the tin and then wrap across it. You have to be fairly quick when you do that otherwise it'll set hard and you'll not be able to compress it. Now, you can use a brush, this is a mascara brush, just to brush out the wing. Okay. I want a jungle cock on each side. I'll put one on this side. Then another one. Match it up for length across the top. And wind that down. Remove our excess. Now the front of this lay, I'm going to use like a chartreuse yellow mix. To create a dubbing ball, and wind it on top of itself. And because that's kind of loose and it's on top of each other, Again, I'm going to take a little bit of super glue, just add it just to the base where I've tied in there. That'll wick into it a little bit and just hold the front of it in place there. In front of that, I want to put a darker green mix. So, again, I'm going to dub that on fairly loosely. Ripping bits out, breaking fibres. And then I'll use my brush again just to brush that out. You can leave it that way on its own if you want, or what you can do is take a bunch of your synthetic dubbing, pull the fibres past each other, and that'll sort of align them for you. And then you can actually place that on. Tie it across its middle and fold it back and that will create an even more bushy sort of fake hackle of your synthetic material. Now, the hackle for this one, you can use all sorts of things, you can use marabou, you can use mini ostrich, I'm going to use a a heron substitute which is a black cock pheasant rump feather dyed black. I'm gonna double the hackles on that over to one side. Split out my tip. Catch it in by the very tip of what's left of the feather, fold it back on itself, and tie it in. Now I'm going on a few turns of that. Now if you were putting on a normal cone head then it wouldn't really matter how you apply this but because we're going to put on something like a turbo disc you actually need to have very little tying thread in front of the, your finishing point like a, in a very small head because there's no recess in it to come back over it so wrap that on take off and then I'm going to put on a couple of half hitches Finish it. So that's 
the fly I'm going to put on as I said like a hybrid cone turbo disc idea I'm going to set that on the wire take a bit again a super glue a little bit just around the head and then push our cone back onto that force it into it until the super glue sets and holds it in place so now we need just to take that off leave yourself one and a half to two mil at the end and flame you can flame horizontally if you want but actually if you flame with your fly pointing vertically you have less chance of burning your materials blow it just to set it